here we are in video three um, of our DSC series. In this video, we'll be looked, looking at configuring the local configuration manager on server one and server two. The um, LCM is a really important part of DSC. It, process the, it processes the desired state configuration scripts, as well as monitoring those scripts and taking remediation action if, if need be. Um, we're going to be using the LCM configuration throughout the next series of videos. Uh, so we'll be coming back, reconfiguring it um, as we go through. But this is just to give you an idea of the commands required to configure the LCM. Sit back, enjoy. So back on tab one here, we're going to take a look at the DSC local configuration manager on server two. Um, we're going to use the command get dash DSC local configuration manager. Remember it's the local configuration manager that processes the uh, DSC scripts uh, and enforces them. So if I take a look at this on server two, just run that selection. There's a couple of things for us to have a look at here. Starting off with the configuration mode. You can see the configuration mode is set to apply and monitor. This is the default configuration mode uh, for DSC. It means it'll apply any scripts that are sent to it uh, and monitor changes so it can log changes, but it won't actually auto correct. It won't um, change settings back. So in our script that was sent out to deploy IIS in our previous video, IIS will get deployed, but if someone else came along and removed IIS, then it gets removed and, and DSC won't do anything about it. Um, if we take a look at, if we're down in uh, refresh mode, you can see this server set up as a push for push installs. So it'll expect scripts to be pushed out on a regular basis. Push installs or push configurations are great for testing development, but really in a production network, we should be using pulls. If you run the same command against server one, so we'll just change the server uh, name there and take a look at server one. Can you see its configuration mode is, is set to apply and autocorrect? This is why in the first video when we, were, when we uninstalled IIS and rebooted, IIS got reinstalled again. Because this DSC configuration, the local configuration manager, is set to monitor the configuration, apply it, but then if, if, if anyone changes it, reapply again. Um, now, the default state is apply and monitor. So server one has been ch changed to apply and autocorrect. Now I want both my servers to have the same local configuration manager configuration. I'm going to do that with another script. So if I jump to the third tab here, this is the uh, script I'm going to use uh, to configure um, LCM on server one and two. Notice the available now computer name includes both server one and server two. Um, we've got uh, the node section, the configuration section. You've got to include that line at the top, DSC local configuration manager, to identify this as an LCM script. And then the settings, we're leaving pretty much everything their defaults, apart from that configuration mode that I'm going to set to apply and autocorrect. Now we should see that change then on server two. Now if I run the script, it's going to create MOF files, but not, not standard MOF files that we saw before. This is going to create meta MOF files. Uh, MOF files are for your DSC scripts that we're going to apply to a set of machines. Meta MOF files are used to configure LCM on a set of um, nodes, set of machines. So if I run this script, and then take a look uh, at the folder DSC on drive C, Uh, there we can see two MetaMoth files, one for server 1 and one for server 2. So if we open the one for server 2 here, and we can see the settings it's going to apply. So we've got target node name again. Um, refresh mode will remain as push. Configuration mode uh, will be apply not or correct. The allow module overwrite dollar true just means that we're going to be able to overwrite any um, existing configuration, even if that configuration is processing. So this is a MetaMoth file for changing LCM on server two. So to execute this then, again for our push installs, if we go back to our first tab. Um, so on here, remember computer, uh, dollar computer name now, if I just run that variable 
references two computers, server one and server two. So this time we've got start dash DSC local configuration manager, computer name, path to the metamorph files and verbose. So if we execute this, so run that selection, it should process uh, pretty quickly. It's not making the same change, like massive changes like a DSC script might be. But here we can see the script is um, processed. We can see start, starting the resources, and server what's two, and server one. One thing to be aware of with uh, DSC is that commands are executed in parallel. So this will run these commands against server one and server two at the same time. So, you know, if you've got a, a, a DSC script that takes five minutes to run against a single machine, against a hundred machines, it should take, well, five minutes against those hundred machines. Let's use our get command again to see what changes that, that has done then on server two. So get dash DSC local configuration manager. So we didn't change the modes, that's still set to push. But if we scroll up now, we can see server two is set now to apply and auto correct. So now if I were to push out configuration, if someone changed that configuration locally, it will be reapplied again. Um, one thing that might be but might be sound counterintuitive at first. We have these uh, refresh frequencies. So you've got configuration mode frequency minutes. And you also have refresh frequency minutes. Um, because I've set, set this system now to apply and, and autocorrect, um, periodically it's going to check the configuration to make sure that um, nothing's changed. And by default, that's going to be 30 minutes. So it could be that someone doesn't uninstall IS, and it'll be 30 minutes later before IS is reapplied. Now Microsoft say this is a, a, um, a standard to make sure that any any changes that are made can be logged, can be investigated uh, before the changes, uh, are, are, are before the scripts are reapplied. Uh, you can change its frequencies, and we'll show you how to do that later on. We'll also be changing um, our LCM configurations in later uh, ex later demonstrations when we look to change from a push to a pull um, install. There you go, basic configura configuration of the LCM. Um, there's a lot to configure in the LCM. Um, feel free to you know, Google, Bing, um, choose your search engine of choice. And make sure you have a good route around for information on the LCM. If that's not configured properly, then your, your desired state configuration scripts won't run. Um, this is video three. Uh, in the next video, video four, we will look at another DSC example where we use the file and Windows feature DSC resource together. We'll also take a look at updating DSC resources as well in that video. So getting additional DSC resources from the PowerShell gallery. Before moving on, take a look at videos um, on more advanced DSC configuration scripts and ultimately getting towards using DSC to manage our Windows Azure subscriptions. Thank you.